Bonjour, vous êtes prêts pour votre nouvelle leçon de français Allez, on y va Let's see the numbers in French, but this time the ordinal numbers, like this one, premier. Premier means first, but this is the masculine form. Le premier can be a noun and also an adjective, like premier livre, the first book, premier ami, the first friend, but here pay attention to the liaison between the two words, premier ami, premier ami, masculine form, mean that there is a feminine form, and here it is, première, la première, first, feminine form, la première pomme, apple, la première amie, she friend, la première. We have one word to say second, it is deuxième, which is masculine and feminine, so just one form, deuxième livre, Deuxième arbre. But the difficulty here that actually we've got a second word to say second in French. They see the word second. And pay attention to the weird pronunciation because the letter C is said like a G in French. Second. Le second livre. Le second arbre. And pay attention to, to the, the end The liaison, we've got a letter D, but to make the liaison, the sound is like a T. Second arbre, le second arbre. So two difficulties, actually, with this word. This form is masculine, because we've got a feminine form, which is seconde. Seconde, la seconde pomme, la seconde amie. This time, there is no problem to use a... Uh, the liaison with the letter D with the second form. So what is now the difference between deuxième and second? The meaning is se second in English. Well, we use second in French when you just have two things. There is not a third one, just two things. In this case, you can say la, le premier and le second. And if you say le second, As an information, you said that there is no third. But if you say deuxième, you mean that there is another one after. So what is the another one? Well, it is troisième in French. And the meaning is third. Troisième. Troisième livre. Troisième enfant. Troisième, because the end is a letter E, is masculine and feminine. So we just have one word here. We are going to have this easier because there is just one word. Quatrième is to say fourth. Quatrième. Quatrième livre. Quatrième enfant. And again, it is masculine and feminine. Cinquième. Cinquième. Cinquième livre. Cinquième enfant. Sixième. Sixième. Pay attention. The letter X here is like a Z, like a Z, sixième, sixième, to say six. Septième, septième, septième livre, septième euro, septième ami, septième, huitième, huitième livre, huitième enfant, child. Neuvième, so you know that nine is neuf with the letter F. Here we've got a letter V. Neuvième, neuvième, le neuvième or la neuvième. Dixième, again here the letter X is said like a Z. Dixième, dixième livre, dixième année, dixième euro. Eleven becomes onzième. Onzième. Douze becomes douzième. Douzième. We've got now treizième. Treizième. Treizième livre. Quatorzième. 
14e euro, 15e, 15e livre, 16e, 16e, 16e euro, 16e année, 17e, so here we have the word 17 with the hyphen, we just add the end 17e, and we've got our word 17e livre dans la bibliothèque, 18e, 18e, 19e, 19e, and 20 is 20e, 20e, 20e livre, 20e euro. So, do you understand the rule? I think yes, it's not so difficult, apart from the first and the second, but you take le nombre, the number, if there is a letter E, you remove it, and you add yem, and you've got your ordinal number in French. Okay? So let's see now an example. Do you remember how to say eight? Well, eight is huitième, okay? Huitième. Another one? Douzième, of course, coming from douze, douzième, okay? Let's see this one. Troisième, troisième. Now, this one. Dix-huitième, dix-huitième. It is 15, so the ordinal number is 15e, 15e. 7 becomes 7e. 7e. It is 13, and 13 becomes, of course, 13e. 20. Vingtième, neuf, neuvième, you remember that the letter F become a letter V, neuvième, seize, seizième, of course, dix-sept, dix-septième, 10, 10e, just pay attention to the pronunciation, the letter X, 10e, 11, 11e, 21 now, 21. So what do you think we can do with 21, 21, if you want uh, to have the ordinal number, well, the same rule, 21e, 21e, for this number, there is no hyphen, 21e. Another example, 22, in this case, there is an hyphen, so 22, 22 becomes 22e. So now I think that yes, you understand the rule, The last one is 100, hundred, and of course you will have centième, le centième, la centième. Ok? A last one. This one is interesting. Do you know the word énième? Énième in French means nth in English. When you have to repeat things a certain numbers of times, And it's so boring that instead of saying uh, 12e, 13e, 14e, well, you say enième, because you don't know really where you are in your ordinal numbers. So, for example, you can say to someone, 
I'm telling you an nth time. In French, je te le dis une énième fois. Une énième fois. So, mean your exasperation in this case. Okay. So, you know everything about ordinal numbers in French. Bon, ben voilà, hein? C'est fini. Alors, au revoir, à bientôt et bon français!